Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of the Gaming Corner. I'm John. So today what we're going to do is I wanted to go over uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator on the PC. The reason I'm doing this is because it's coming out on the Xbox Series X and S platforms on July 27th of 2021, so just a few short weeks from when I'm filming this video right now. So what I want to do is kind of get back into Microsoft Flight Simulator and kind of show it off, what it does, what it is, all that kind of thing in case you're not really familiar with it. And then uh, once it releases on Xbox Series X, we kind of do a comparison and see what it's like. Uh, so this game came out on PC last year, around this time last year. It's been out for almost a year, or maybe it's over a year now. And um, I kind of played it for a little bit, kind of got bored with it and shelved it. It was like right when it released. So I think there was a little bit of optimization left to be done to it and things like that. But we'll see how it goes. It's updating right behind me right now. It was like an 83 gig update. Like I said, I hadn't played it uh, probably since release last year. And so I'm waiting for it to update. And once it's done, then we'll dive in there and see. Now the specs on my computer that I'm going to be playing it on I'm on the Windows 11 beta, so just take note of that if anything goes really bad. It's on Windows 11 beta. I have 32 gigs of RAM. A graphics card is an RTX 2070 Super. And the CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. So CPU is a little on the lower side, um, or older side, I should say. And it's not and I think we said this before in a video, maybe it was on the tech channel, uh, the tech show, uh, Coffee Tech, that Windows 11 shouldn't even work on here because the CPU isn't supported officially. So, uh, but it somehow Microsoft gave me the update and it's on there and running fine. So we'll see how it goes in the game. It may be a disaster. I don't know yet. <laughs> it's because I haven't been able to play it yet. Uh, so, once it's done updating, we'll get in there, we'll check it out. Another thing I wanted to say too is come November 19th of this year, uh, with the release of Top Gun Maverick, Microsoft is going to release, in collaboration with Paramount Pictures and Top Gun Maverick, a free expansion that is going to allow you to play some of those planes in the game, which will be very cool. It is going to be a free expansion, so it should be pretty fun. So with all that said, we'll be right back after this intro coming up and we'll play some flight, flight sim. Microsoft Flight Sim. Yeah. All right. See you in a second. Okay, everybody. Hello and welcome back. So as you can see on the screen, we're finally loaded in. It's many, many hours later after the update. Uh, it was a huge update, like 80 some gigs. Uh, again, I'm on the PC. We're gonna go through the settings that I have it set up on. We're gonna go through the menu that you see in front of you. Um, I'm gonna be looking up because of the way the my crappy web camera is kind of pointing at me. I just wanted to do a web camera just so you could see, see me and so I can talk to you. I don't like really talking that much to just the screen and having you guys watch the screen while I talk. So let me know if you guys like this or not. I can always take the webcam off. It actually makes things easier for me. Um, and just another thing too, when I tried to do this capture of this, I tried to use the new uh, my Xbox game bar um, that's built into Windows 11. Uh, I know they had it in Windows 10 as well, but it just doesn't work that well. Everything was kind of stuttering and the audio from my microphone sounded terrible. Um, it just sounded awful. I tried the blue uh, snowball mic right here. If you guys can see that one. I tried that uh, via USB and it just sounded terrible. Um, and uh, so I'm actually recording, if I can set that down, I'm actually recording everything through my Rodecaster Pro, um, which I use for podcasting and stuff like that. So everything's running through there. The audio from the computer and this microphone pod mic here is going into the roadcaster and that's how everything's being recorded. It's all being captured in uh, Streamlabs OBS and so hopefully everything works good. It seemed to work okay. I did turn off HDR in Windows 11 because that seemed to have some washed out effects in, in OBS. So turn that off, rebooted the computer, and let's go through the settings here on the game. 
Okay, so, oh, and one more thing. I am playing this through an Xbox 360 wired controller. Yes, I still have one of those. And um, don't ask me why. I just wanted a wired controller for this demo. Um, but, of course, I have multiple Xbox controllers that will work over Bluetooth. I decided on this one because it's wired up and it was there. <laughs> <laughs> no really better reason. Okay, let's get to the screen here. I'm going to be looking at the screen, so not at you guys. Uh, so right here, we're at the welcome screen. You can see there's a world map. That's where we can edit flight pl flight plans, create a new flight plan, uh, go from whatever airport you want to whatever airport, um, or select existing flights and things like that. Uh, we'll get into that. Uh, there's a landing challenge. There's different challenges that are available. So that's over the next min window over. That's a current spotlight event is a landing challenge. Uh, there's flight training, which we're going to dive into a little bit too. Uh, activities, things to test your skills with landing, bush trips, and more. So there's other activities you can do. And of course, there's news and feedback and support and all that. So across the top, you see welcome profile. So we're going to go over to profile and so this is me uh that's my gamer tag and shows i have one hour <laughs> in the game i'm so good at it uh then you can see your hangers these are all the planes that you have content manager and logbook so you can get additional content now here's the marketplace now this is kind of the rub with this game is it's free for xbox game pass and i'm doing this free right now on the pc i did not buy this game uh, but I'm using it as part of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, so it will be available on the Xbox, as I said in the intro. So, But here's the thing. If you want the Airport France Pack 1, you're going to pay an extra 30 bucks for it. Um, it's rolling through all this stuff right now. Uh, different planes, different airports, things like that are going to cost you real-world dollars. Now, there are different tiers that you can buy this game at, which do come with extras. I think it goes up to like $100 or more. Um, so you can buy more if you so choose to, um, which I... Don't know if I recommend it or not. I mean, I guess that's up to you. I'm just going to use my mouse here instead of the controller for, for all this. But if we go into the full catalog, um, you know, it just shows kind of everything that's there. So there's bundles. And so here's the bundles here. So, yeah, it goes up to $99. This is the premium bundle that I'm hovering over right now. Uh, so that's 100 bucks. You got the premium deluxe upgrade, which is $84.99, or the deluxe upgrade for $79.99. Um, yeah, so yeah, so owned. I have the flight simulator aviators club livery, I guess. Yeah, so there's different things in there. So you just have to go kind of choose, pick and choose what you want. Here's you know different airports, different planes, things like that. Um. So yeah, there's a full marketplace available for you know whatever you want. <laughs> so yeah, so it's, you don't get everything when you're getting this on Game Pass. You're getting the basic game really, which is, which is cool, you know, whatever. Um, so now next, let's go into the options. So under general options, let me show you how I'm configured right now. Um, I did turn it on Windows 1080p um, just for this this right now because otherwise if it gets too much, OBS has trouble. I'm trying to capture and play on the same computer. So you know how you might know how that is, but it does stutter a little bit, and so um, I didn't want there to be any stuttering. So I'm doing Windows mode in 1080p and capturing it that way. Um, it does have my global rendering quality is high end, so it did detect everything on my computer and did do high end. Frame rate limit is 60 frames per second, although my monitor is 144 hertz. It should be able to get to that level anyway, um, but it might. You might have issues at that point. Um, scale rendering resolution. So it is rendering at a higher, a bit higher resolution than 1080p right now. And you can see all those settings right there. So that's how it kind of, it's just how it defaulted. So I didn't really do anything for that. Go ahead and you get camera settings, your camera selection. You can switch between different camera selections. Um, so for in-game using the shortcut. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know how to do the camera in game so we're going to try to play with that too and you know all sorts of other options there's sound options there is music 
I turned it off because I don't want any copyright claims or anything on this video, but there is in-game music and all that good stuff. And right there, I have it kind of turned off. So, um, but it's decent music. It's background music, so, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, so we do have real-time online air traffic, aircraft traffic. Uh, so this game does have real-time weather, real-time uh, everything pretty much, and real-time aircraft traffic apparently. So very cool. Uh, so here's stuff about data, current data consumption, and all that good stuff. Flight model, we're on modern, so this is the default. Uh, miscellaneous, I'm in the US, so I have all the US stuff. Uh, there's accessibility options, there's a VR mode too. So I have not tried the VR mode, but I do intend on trying that with the Oculus Quest. So look for another video on that because I am anxious to try that. Uh, so we're gonna try it on the Quest 2 and see how it goes. I'm looking at it over there. So we'll see how that goes, I don't know. All right, so that's general options. Um, and you have assistance options also. So I have everything on easy because I suck and I'm using a controller and not a flight stick and a yoke and all that good stuff. And a, uh, you know, like, yeah, pedals and all that good stuff. I don't have all that equipment. I have some equipment, but yeah, I'm not that big of a flight sim guy. So I want it to be easy and we'll see how easy easy is. Uh, let's see. So there's a bunch of assistance options you can do and control options. There's a whole ton of stuff in here too. So again, it shows me I'm using the Xbox controller and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do with the controls. So just leave it there. It is a flight sim. So there's just a ton of different options that you can do. I mean, yeah. So whatever you hook up, it's going to be recognized. All right, so now let's, let's dive in really fast to the world map because this is kind of cool. So this shows like real time what it's like. So you can see it's just getting daylight on the west coast of the United States right now. And like I said, this is kind of real time. So we can kind of zoom in there and see um, kind of what's going on and zoom into all these like uh, airports and things that are there. It's pretty awesome. Um, so actually you can go and kind of select this Oakland International. You can get some details on it. Um, so you can see different different things about the, uh, the airport. And you can set that then, like if you click on it, you can set that as your departure or your arrival destination. And then you can just choose whatever other airport you want like say we want something in the hawaiian islands which should be right over here so um let's see we want to fly where do we want to fly into i don't know i guess we'll fly into honolulu international and so there's details on that so you can set that as your arrival or departure as well so once you do that you set one as an arrival one as a departure and you can just go ahead and it'll kind of set you up for a flight plan and you just go. And so on easy, at least when I set this up before, it said I have unlimited fuel and all that stuff. So I didn't have to worry. So I could drive, you know, f drive. <laughs> I could fly a Cessna from Philadelphia to Hawaii nonstop. So that's unrealistic, but you can turn all that off. So just so you know, pretty cool. Um, but for right now, I just want to go in and let's just go over like one of the flight training things, just so you get, get an idea of what the game looks like and how it loads up. Now, one more caveat here is I have the game running on a external normal kind of a backup hard drive. So it's no high speed drive um, and it does matter. It does show. So I'll, I'll just tell you, put it on an, a fast SSD if you have one because it does rely on the data on that hard drive an awful lot and it does take time to load. So just throwing that out there. And let's see, it does look like I am slowing down here. So let's see if <laughs> this is actually gonna keep going for us here. All right, we're just gonna go over basic controls. Um, 
and let's go to fly and let's let it load up. So uh, right here, it's going to say what we're learning. We're going to learn about aileron, flaps, rudder, and elevator. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole demo here because we're already 12 minutes in. I just wanted to really show you guys the game um, and how it looks right now on Windows. So when it does come out on Xbox, um, I want to really see, like I know for a fact it's going to load a lot faster. Um, I didn't even show you guys the loading screen in the beginning because um, it was just too too crazy. But here's the plane. Here, here we are. We're above uh, Sedona, Arizona, and we're in a Textron Aviation Cessna 152. And so there you go. It does show two dudes in there, but um, <laughs> you'll see in a minute there's nobody in there. So let's go in and fly. Welcome to flight training. I'm your instructor, Captain Molina, but you can just call me Jess. So there's Jess. All this right. session, we'll get started with some basic controls. Sound good? Sounds good, Jess. First things first, let's get familiar with your surroundings. Okay. Don't worry. I've got the stick while you get your bearings. Okay, so Jess is flying us. Out so we're not flying windows, right now. You can see we have great visibility over Sedona today. Okay, so we can kind of look. So if you hit these buttons this here, it'll territory. automatically zoom Beautiful, over to those it? areas, which is kind of nice. Okay, now if we use the left, right, and up and down on the keyboard, you can kind of raise your view, lower your view, go to one side of the plane. So that's kind of nice that you can kind of just zoom around there. And you know, just keep it in the middle. Or you can right mouse click as we see here. There's my mouse pointer and we can kind of look all over the plane in the back and every which way. So that's very cool. It gives you total freedom to do this and which is nice to recenter. We just click our stick there. So this is saying save in a custom view. So if we do control alt one and I'll do that do control or alt one anytime to go to our view so do that and there's our out dot outside view so that's what I was trying to figure out before and uh, so we can kind of zoom around our plane and I just hit the uh, whatever this button is translated to the new controller this one here I think it's got like, two little windows or something in it but, uh, yeah, so we hit that button again. We're back in the cockpit. Uh, now she's still driving, so I am not driving right now. But there you go. We're gonna do all one. See if you can there spot you the Sedona Airport. The runway should be a pretty easy landmark to find. Okay, so we're gonna try to find the airport if we hold the X button. There you go. Visual there's the airport over the there. Airport. Now that we're oriented, and you can do that any time to get to. to fly this bird. I guess, I guess it'll the always point you towards the airport, maybe. Is the yoke. I okay. still remember my first instructor saying the yoke is like a steering wheel, almost. Sure, you so can you can turn, see how it. The tutorial is really awesome. It does do very well. I went through a whole bunch starters, of them already. It controls the ailerons. So the now ailerons, we're controlling. They allow the plane to roll and you can and see <laughs> how bad I am at this. But, uh, try rolling to the right. Oh, we gotta go to the right. No. Nice. Now let's see you level back out. Okay, now we're gonna level off. Good. Okay, so. Of course, the yoke. All right, so we're just gonna get out at this point. Um, but there you go. That's kind of the game. Uh, I mean, I only touched on a very small bit, but we're already 16 minutes in. I didn't want to take a ton of time on this. Um, but that's kind of the way the game is right now. Now, if you do have Xbox Game Pass for the PC, if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, uh, you can go ahead and download this game and give it a shot yourself and see how you like it. Now, I will say um, I am using the Xbox 360 controller here, and the controls are very touchy. Uh, now, I haven't edited any of the control layout or any of the sensitivities or anything like that in the game. Um, so I'm assuming that you can probably dial this in a little bit better. Maybe not. I'm not sure. 
Uh, but I guess your mileage will vary depending on what kind of control method you're using. So, uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, uh, I guess it's not so bad at this point. Um, let's go to the main menu here real quick. And uh, I just want to see, before we go, I want to jump into the kind of activities and just see what's there. Because um, I actually really haven't done that yet. I just went into what you guys saw. It's as much as I've really done. I mean, I went through a few more of the, um, you know, the tutorial type things. But other than that, I really haven't done a whole lot with this. And um, yeah. But I would highly recommend installing this on a faster SSD than what I have it in. So let's go to activities and see what there is. Okay, there's landing challenges and bush trips. Um, so this is uh, flying long distance across remote locations. This is the bush trips and the, and the landings are different kind of landing uh, ones. So here's famous well-known ones. Short, treacherous ter ter terrain, strong wind landings. So yeah, so you can go into famous and you can fly into famous airports, JFK, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Toronto. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, there's landing challenges and then these bush trips. Let's see what we have here. So there's a couple there. Um, yeah. So there you go. There's those challenges. And then, of course, there's this uh, landing challenge that looks pretty treacherous there. So, uh, yeah. So there you go, guys. That is basically Flight Simulator out of the box. Kind of quick start guide. Not really, but hey whatever. So anyway, uh, when it does come out on Xbox, I expect loading times to be way faster. Um, I expect default graphics to be just stellar. Um, I would expect them pretty much similar to this, but maybe even quicker only because I think I do notice some slowdown like you guys saw, like when I turned left and right to look out the, the windows of the cockpit. It's slow. It was kind of sluggish in the beginning and then kind of smoothed out a little bit trying to load those assets in. So I'm assuming on the Xbox Series X, it's going to be a lot faster. It's has super fast SSDs in there. Um, and so, yeah, the storage in there and it's just lightning fast. So we should get much better, um, uh, yeah, loading times and things like that. And also I believe that the total install on the Xbox is going to be somewhere around 150 gigabytes, which is pretty huge. Maybe that won't be the case, but we'll see when it when it drops later this month and uh, and we get a chance to try it out. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just close it out here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And um, that's it. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you guys next time. This is John for The Gaming Corner. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.